Hey, Biker Trash here with the review of the Dark of the Moon Shockwave. And it wasn't a figure I was really looking forward to, but I'm glad that I picked him up because he is very nice. Um, where to start? Because I, I, I've talked for five minutes and then my camera turned off. I forgot to hit record. Um, very neat figure. Um, good color combination. It's a, uh, it's purple, with almost like a lavender for the hands, the rib cage, and some other details around the robot. Uh, but very nice purple. Uh, some areas like this on the head are actually painted. The rest of it is molded in purple. It's a uh, fairly nice. I it it looks good though. Uh, you've got some silver plastic as well. Uh, very. I, I like this. The. Uh, the energy cable going from inside of his back to the gun and it can actually plug into his shoulder if you would rather but uh, I just like to leave it plugged in right here and I just like to say this is a, a Gundam fan this thing has uh, he's got these two dry uh, cores right here and a core right here so this thing is a triple drive unit uh you got three ng three gn drives so this thing is bad okay enough talking about gundams for right now i really need to review some because i really need to build some i haven't built a gundam and i don't know how long okay let's get back to the review though um very solid looking guy i the only thing i do not like about this guy is the rib cage um to me it seems like if I was some big, bad Decepticon warlord come to do certain things in the movie, which I'm not going to spoil, I would armor myself up in my general area of my chest. I mean, he doesn't really have a face for Optimus to rip off, but why have your grip cage open? Unless, like, your heart is in your gun or something. Uh... Let me just go ahead and pop this off for just a little bit. It's very secure. Um, he has two hands. Um, so, but what is disappointing to me, because I'm almost positive in the original cartoon, his gun arm was his left hand. You can't plug it into his left hand. You can set it there, but it doesn't mesh up well. And it's not very secure. And the reason for that is, you see on this one, the hole is all the way up in his elbow. On this one, it's mid-arm. And there's a small rectangular hole right there to be able to match up with uh, that small rectangular peg. Oh man, where did I put the... Uh, excuse me one second, I'll be right back. To attach to him, he's got uh, he's got this weapon blade thingy. That clips on to this arm. And I forgot to put that on before I started the review. Um, sorry. Forgot that. I'm a bad reviewer. Um, very good light piping on this guy. If you can, you can see that. Um, one thing I'm noticing is the way they're making the feet on the Dark of the Moon figures it's they're encouraging you to have them with their legs spread out. The feet are actually cut at an angle. Um, and really that's about all I've got to say about his robot mode. Oh, uh, one inner strange thing about the posability on this guy is the shoulder joints are actually at an angle. So if you turn his arm up you end up putting his hands over his head. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. You can work around it. But I just thought that was strange that they would give him a shoulder joint quite like that. Of course, that's kind of how it's got to work for his transformation. But anyway, speaking of transformation, it's that time. Um, what you going to do? is this section right here is just going to take and pull to the back with his head and everything 
And actually, that's what happens whenever you pull them out of the package. I thought I broke the thing, but that's just the way it is. Uh, next thing you're going to do is take and pull his rib cage out like that. It uh, pegs into the shoulders like that. Rotate these like that. And then take the rib cage and right in there, y'all might be able to see, I don't know with the light, but there's two holes right there and these pegs in the rib cage just peg right into that. So you end up with it looking like this. You're going to take and just fold the forearms in, uh, the hands into the forearms. And we're going to take a break from that just so we can work on the feet. What you're going to do is take the knee pads and fold them down. Then fold the feet, the toes over. And it takes a little bit of force, but the toes are actually going to peg into the knee pads and make a fairly smooth section right there. Like that. Take the heel spurs, fold them into the bottom of the feet. Then you're going to rotate this to where the hollow backs of the leg are facing out. Rotate this around. And we're not going to peg it in right now. We're just getting this out of the way. I don't know if I showed you this. This is how the legs were. And they rotate around like that. We're not going to peg everything in right now just because everything is still moving. Uh, you have to. I don't know if it's possible to transform this without unpegging this, but we're going to do it for right now. Uh, I've never tried. I don't want to end up breaking something. You know, get this like this. This is all going to fold around, and this is going to come out like this. You're going to rotate. I should have done this while I was back here. Uh, the head is on something right here that can rotate. Just rotate that around. Bring this between his legs. Kind of get to this right here to where it's facing between his legs as well. Then rotate all of this around. Oh, darn it. Open all this back up. Drop. Why are you fighting me? Rotate this back around. Because I'm messing y'all up. Drop this back down and rotate the head to where it would be backwards on the robot mode. In fact, do that before you do any of the other stuff I said. Just turn his head around. Then this is going to come up and cover his almost face. Then we're going to come back over here. Rotate all this around. Like I said before, to where this is underneath like this. Then on this joint right here. Rotate all of that around. And the little thing that the uh, the cord plugs into is going to end up sandwiched between that and the back of his head. <sighs> okay, fold these with the other drives down. Now we can start pegging things into place. Hallelujah. Okay, and I really wish I could get further from the camera with this this uh, this camera I'm using doesn't spread out very far I mean this is I'm literally at arm's length and my chin is almost touching the camera um, you're gonna take these that were on the back of the heel spurs and on the shoulders there's something for that to plug into so that's gonna take and connect right there same story on the other side kind of got to give the the uh, hips a squeeze to get everything to settle in between them. And it's a pain to get lined up, but there's these pegs on the back of the legs that peg into that core right there. And like I said, it is a pain to get that lined up at times, but once you get it all in... This guy is solid. I mean, I could probably throw him across the room and not have anything come unpegged. Unlike the Optimus. Okay, so we've got all this pretty well pegged into place. 
get the shoulder on this one pegged in and that's in place then the uh, these little thingies right here are gonna peg in underneath here like that and like I said this thing is all I mean I'm supporting the entire weight of the toy just by this right here and nothing is flopping around that's how well this thing put pegs together um, the arms are going to take and the shoulder joint this is the way it was in robot mode you're just gonna flip that up and around and then just keep folding everything over and this is the only part that doesn't actually peg in place it rests in this notch but nothing pegs so that is the only thing on this figure that's kind of loose is the way that the arms connect right there or rather the way the arms don't connect right there but splitting hairs um, do the same thing with the other arm with the cannon attached oh and also there's a notch right a peg right here it kind of lines up with a notch right there. It won't lay flat unless you get it right. Pegged in right back over here. It actually helps hold this down. Uh, now this I'm not too too sure about because if you try and get the cable connected to now uh, you see this right here. This uh, this right here will actually let it connect on either side, but. I find that if you try and connect it to, I wish I had a head mounted camera to follow my eyes. If you connect it in right here, anytime you try, oh, you see like this, if you deploy it, it would want to shoot its own cable. So what I usually do is instead of plugging it in there, the same spot as in robot mode, what I do is I just take and bring it around and plug it into this that was the back of the shoulder. Whenever you do that, oh you piece of junk. Whenever you do it like that, now everything works just fine. And this one locks. Just like Optimus Primes and Megatrons did once I knew how to do it, I just figured this one out first. You push this tab forward and you see this little notch right here? Just put that in and it stays right there nice as you please and very nice figure much better than I thought it would be just from looking at it because usually I don't like figures that just look like something that was thrown together this though is very nice everything pegs in very nicely together and you can see the light piping there through that little hole and they've got a hole on either side to where it if he had two eyes, he, it would almost be like just a mask. But right now, he can only see to the sides and not dead ahead of him. But still, I I like that. It looks mean with that eye glowing inside of there. And easily the second best def uh, defense of the moon. Why do I keep calling it Dark of the Moon figure I've purchased yet? All I've purchased is... This Megatron, which is the nicest, the Optimus, and two Wreckers. And this is, like I said, these two are my favorites so far. Um, and surprisingly enough, the little thing... Oh, it was rolling good for a second there, and then I go to film it. But, uh, nice figure. Really, I mean, if you like it, you like it, and if you don't, you don't. I'm not going to force you to buy it if you don't like it, but I bought it because I like the character from G1, but I ended up really liking the figure. Uh, Y'all have a good day, and this is going to be my last video for the week, because I'm going to work. Oh wait, hang on a second, hang on a second. I just had a stupid thought. We've got a gun on a gun oh. on a gun oh come on I'll oh, quit unpegging Megatron's gun
I mean, really, you could keep going like this for hours with these things. I mean, I could go get the Wreckers guns and hook them up. But anyway, uh, that's my random stupid thought for the moment. Uh, Y'all have a good day.